What are you going to be when you grow up? Turns out there never was and never should be a simple answer to that question. Those are the words of Lucas Murnahan. The doctor, the surfer, photographer, those titles in no particular order, by the way. Murnahan's life proves you can do it all. I think to me he was a superhero. He was also the love of Antonio Leonard's life. The two met 14 years ago at a store where Antonio worked. He left with two pairs of jeans that he couldn't afford at the time and my phone number, and uh, the rest is history. At the time, Murnahan was just starting his medical career, eventually going on to become a renowned orthopedic surgeon at SickKids. When you looked at him as a surgeon, he was a very complete, very sensitive, and very caring person, um, the sort of doctor that we would all want to have or all want to be. Murnahan had a work-life balance. He was part of the local surfing community here, opened up a surf shop with Antonio, also a noted underwater photographer with a portfolio we could do a whole documentary on, which we actually did. Pretty incredible piece of equipment. The underwater camera is one of the last physical extensions of Lucas Murnahan. And this is what allowed him to do the work that he ended up doing in the last few years. He died this week of an aggressive form of cancer at just 45 years old. I love him, we love him, and uh, we'll always love him. His legacy lives on in his art and in the waves he surfed around the world and here at Woodbine Beach. Tomorrow morning there will be some waves right here and we're going to get up bright and early and come surfing. Also in the operating rooms where he'd encourage his colleagues to nurture hobbies and get involved in their own communities. This is something that Lucas lived and understood and we're gonna miss everything about him. In his own Everyone words giving a TED talk last world. year. We're capable of so much more than we know or what we set out to be. We are the cumulative effect of the roads we have traveled, our identities shaped along the way. Because in the end, the only story you can tell is your own. Ali Chiasson, CBC News, Toronto.